All right, everybody, what we're gonna do today is, uh, in a previous video I uploaded, I explained how to just merely check your TPS voltage on your 23 KTM 125 250 300. It's essentially the same, exactly the same process, although the voltage readings will be a little different. I just kind of did a, a quick overview using this um, TPS tool. You can get that at tpstool.com. Um, and I explained essentially what it means to check it and why it's important. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is actually physically check the, the starting initial um, TPS voltage with um, the throttle disconnected. And I already took the liberty and backed out the red idle switch, uh, red idle dial, excuse me, and the yellow idle uh, under the, the throttle body. Um, but why is it important to disconnect your throttle if you're checking your TPS? Well, because it actually can be a little bit of tension on these cables that may, and all it takes is a hair of, of tension on these cables to actually pull on, on that circuit and it'll, it'll give you a false reading. So all I do is really crack these loose, pull the throttle pipe off, and I do this probably a little bit fast, but what I'm gonna do is get rid of the two uh, mounting bolts, pull this apart, and just simply remove the throttle cam. There you go, put that anywhere. Um, so these cables aren't doing, you know, touching anything inside the, the, um, the throttle body. So you know there's no tension put on this whatsoever. And we're gonna kind of move down to the actual TPS circuit over here. Let me bend my knees. And this is the, uh, this is the throttle position sensor. Um, I already took the liberty. It's kind of really hard to see in the back. I don't know if you can get a picture of that. It's way in the back, Zach, there's a red idle dial right there, way in the back. Hard to see the yellow one, which is actually under the throttle body. You might be able to look at it from over there. Probably can't see it at all. Mm -hmm. Hard to see. Yeah, it's really hard to see. It's buried, but essentially we're going to um, back this, this red idle screw all the way out and then also count the amount of clicks that it takes to back out that yellow one as well. And um, for the sake of time, I'm going to um, stop real quick here and do it, but you're basically going to back those all the way out. Red one, all the way out, yellow one, count the clicks. So we'll be back in one second and we'll, we'll, we'll pick up in a second. All right, so what we're gonna do now um, is plug in uh, the TPS tool into the TPS port and see what we got here for just static TPS voltage. This is super easy to do with this tool. You simply push on this little tab, wiggle and pull that out, made a little, little noise. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna plug this TPS reader right in here. It clicks in. And now we're going to just turn this on and this is gonna read 0.5 something. 0.5119. So that's basically what this TPS is, is just reading as it sits. Okay, now to properly set this according to the manual, the manual wants the TPS circuit to be to read 0.4,000 volts, as, well, as close as you can get to it without really going over. Um, however, this reading is super high and we don't wanna go to adjust this right away. We actually wanna back out the red idle and the yellow idle and my lovely assistant daughter is on the other side. She refuses to be on camera. So Nev, if you can start to turn that red dial, you're gonna see this number start to drop. It might take a while. And you're gonna to have to keep turning that. And basically what we wanna do is get the number to go all the way down and stop moving. And I'll let her know when we've reached the bottom. So as you can see, she's backing out the red idle. It keeps dropping, keeps dropping. This is gonna be somewhere around 0.4 or 0.39, coming very close to, to where it's gonna be. Let's see what we got for any second. All right, stop right there. 
You were just turning that, correct? Mm -hmm. Still? Okay, so with no red idle, which is what, what we want out of this, it's 0.3918, all right? Now, Nev, if you can go do the same thing with the yellow one, you wanna turn that towards me. You can get her hand in there. And we also wanna look at this, just to make sure that that's not touching anything. Are you turning it right now? Can you feel clicks as you do that? Yeah. All right, so nothing, you just, how many clicks did you do? A couple? Yeah. Okay, so we'll come back over here, Zach. So now that the yellow one's out of the mix, we turned it and it didn't change the value. Um, we know that we're gonna try to eke this up just a hair to 0.4,000, okay? And now I'm just gonna kind of do this a little bit. Hold this at the same time. I need my uh, trusty, dusty T27 Torx. And all we're gonna do is crack loose these two nuts right here, the T27 quarter inch drive. Make sure that's going the right way so I'm not tightening it. And I'm just gonna crack this loose. That value will probably change. Yep, it's changing a little bit. So all I did was really crack these loose. And this is pretty much right out of the KTM manual, although they recommend that you uh, see your dealer to do this, they hook up a whole computerized system. This is essentially, um, you know, the, the, the end user at home version. And this will take a little while to get that to 0.4 thousand because once you start to lock these down, the values change. So I'm gonna just gently push on this TPS if you wanna show that little window there. You see it's going up. That's essentially a hair over four. That's probably a little too aggressive. Let me uh, just barely touch this thing. It's so sensitive. I'm gonna try to get that to like around 0. 0.4005. In there somewhere. Let me try and see what happens when I lock this down. It's 0.19.2. It changes and then it settles. I'm just going to try to tighten this down and see what happens. See it's dropping a little bit. You go back and forth. So once they lock that down, you sort of go back and forth. They're going to have to, that's just a hair too high for what I want. So I'm just going to crack these loose again. It is a little bit of a, a dance that has to happen. So we're just going to gently tug on this thing and make this go a little bit lower. It seemed like when I tightened it down, it added. Yeah, jump way down. You may spend a, <laughs> you may spend a couple minutes here and barely touching this thing to get it to move. Yeah, it's kind of dancing around a little bit. We're gonna. Uh, you may have to. This is a little dance. I'm gonna try 0.3964. Lock in the bottom. Oh, it went way high. Coming back a little bit. Close. Yeah, this is super, super sensitive here. Ooh, we're getting close. Ooh, point three nine. That's that's it, man. So she's point four thousand, point thousand. You know, it's drifted a little bit off that point one, uh, but we're gonna leave that right where it is. I mean, it's as good as you, close as you're gonna get. Um, now, what we're gonna do is uh, in the next section, we're gonna watch this climb back up, but it's locked in at point four thousand. That's basically the initial starting voltage in the manual with nothing connected at the throttle, the idle, both idle circuits are out of the mix. We're back to kind of square one. Now we're gonna uh, 
sort of do the, the idle circuit and you're gonna watch that climb back up. But at least with nothing else plugged in anywhere other than this, we, we got this basically set to point, point 0.4 thousand. It is jumping around a little bit. This is not untypical for that to happen. These, these wander a little bit, but we're basically at 4,000. So next clip, you're gonna see a little bit more. All right, so after a couple minutes of sitting, the TPS is settled at 0 0.4002, which is ex pretty much exactly what the manual wants. Um, it, we, we can sit here for hours trying to get to the 0.4 thousand, but honestly in the manual, it calls for 0.40. It doesn't ever talk about the, the last two digits. So we've, we've, we've achieved what the manual wants us to do. So my lovely assistant daughter, Nevea is gonna turn up the idle back to 0.5118 which is essentially where it was before, that idle number will change. If the bike is idling a little higher, a little low, you can always just turn it in or back it out to suit what you want. As you can see, the number's climbing now. And she's just basically turning the red screw back in. It does take a couple of minutes to do this, so we're gonna slow down a little bit, just uh, keep going. Yeah, 0.48, it's climbing up. And you're gonna slow down just so you keep going a couple more, yep. All right, stop right there. You can back that off a hair. So right now it's settled at 0.1, um, 0 0.5130. And just probably one more little half a tip. Yeah, uh, go back the other way, sweetheart. Yep, leave that right there. 5120 is close enough for me. So basically now the red idle is turned back in. You've achieved essentially where you were for your starting point, and that's gonna change. If you want your bike to idle higher, go up. Go, I mean, uh, go in with the idle, screw down, and it'll make the idle go up. Um, and as far as a yellow uh, idle button, was only pull, um, pulled out four clicks and we put those four clicks back in as well. We just simply turned, you can feel it. It's like a small detent on the inside of that. And just click, 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 one, two, three, four. And basically now this thing is set to 0.4 thousand with nothing else connected. We can go ahead and put the throttle pipe back together. We're gonna um, turn this off and disconnect this little dongle. Again, we just pulls off here, pull back on it out of the way, the, the stocky connector goes back in here, snaps into place, and that's all she wrote. We're gonna put this thing, button it all back together, and we're gonna test fire it up uh, a little bit later, but I just wanted to do this because uh, I get a lot of comments on how to actually do it. That's actually how you do it in the shop, not at the dealer. And um, you you know to get uh, this super accurate tpstool.com thing. It's like 140 bucks, 150 bucks, and uh, you can um, get the ship right to you from Amazon, I believe. And you need a T27 to actually loosen those two those two nuts, and then an eight millimeter to take off your throttle pipe. So I appreciate you all. God bless. We'll do more soon. Thanks, man.